Welcome, thank you for joining us tonight. Remember, New Dawn Ministries exists to inspire, to equip, and to enable everyone. Now, for the past few weeks, um, Prophet Mbolekwa has taken us through the, 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 the Ministry of Intercession. Um, he laid a good foundation, um, teaching us what it's all about, um, how we do it, who is called to do it, and even some of the benefits of doing it. And um, Pastor Adelaide last week came and gave incredible testimonies and, and the power um, that comes with the intercessory ministry. And I'm privileged tonight um, just to add and, and, and speak on the spoils of the intercessory ministry. Now, when we talk spoils, um, we are talking about acquisitions that are made post a war. Now, um, when, when, um, when there's a war between two countries or two nations, um, there tends to be when one nation has overcome, has won, then they look around for any articles of value and when they find them, they take them, the gold, the cattle, the sheep, at times even the women and the children, um, they are taken and they become um, belongings of the nation that has conquered. Now even in intercessory ministry, we have come to understand that we are coming into a battle, we are coming into a war zone, we are standing in between, whether we are praying for our family members, whether we are praying for our um, institutions, whether we are praying for our country, um, whether we are praying for other countries out there, whether we are praying for situations that are taking place in, in other people's lives or our own. We are standing in a war zone, fighting in the spiritual realm um, that victory may be gained for the kingdom of God. Now, as we engage in intercessory uh, prayer, we need to be aware that there are spoils to be acquired from this war. And I'm going to talk about um, three spoils that were laid in my heart um, to share with you tonight. The first spoil is the spoil of peace. Now, let's read quickly together in the book of um, Philippians chapter 4. And we're reading from verse 6. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer, that is intercession, throughout each day. Offering your faith-filled requests before God and overflowing with gratitude. Tell him every detail of your life. Then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Amen. So here we hear that we ought not to be pulled in different directions. We ought not to be anxious. We ought not to worry about anything. Instead, we must be saturated in prayer throughout each day offering faith-filled requests. So these are actions that we do um, as we intercede. We offer faith-filled requests unto God. And in that, um, it says, tell him every detail of your life. So you are telling God every detail about this situation. You are giving it all. You are pouring it out. And that is intercession. But then verse 7 something wonderful happens. It says, then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. So here, the peace we have not prayed for, the peace we have not asked, we are interceding, we are praying intensely about the situation. We are bringing every detail of it before God. And what happens? As a spoil, as, a, as an add-on to the answer to the prayer, the peace 
God's wonderful peace, it says, which transcends human understanding, then comes and guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So this is the first spoil, that we should not leave the war zone um, without acquiring the peace of God. Awesome. Let's move on to the second um, spoil that we should not go without when we engage in intercessory prayer. And the second one is assurance. Um, and with this one, I would like us to read um, two portions of scripture. The first one is found in the book of Luke. And we're reading from Luke chapter 2. And we're going to read two verses. Verse 38, 36 to 38. Anna, a prophet, was also there in the temple. Now this is taking place when Jesus was presented by his presence by his parents, rather, in the temple. So Jesus, the baby boy, was born to Mary and Joseph, and he was presented to the um, man of God, Simeon, and Anna the prophet was also there in the temple. And this is the account of Anna's story. It says, Anna, a prophet, was also there in the temple. She was a daughter, the daughter of Phanuel from the tribe of Asher, and she was very old. Her husband died when they had been married only seven years. Then she lived as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but stayed there day and night, worshiping God and with fasting and prayer. She came along just as Simeon was talking with Mary and Joseph, and she began praising God she talked about the child to everyone who had been waiting expectantly for God to rescue Jerusalem. Amen. Now, this is an incredible account of a woman who had assurance. And I look at this story and, um, I mean, this is someone who dedicated almost their entire lives to prayer and fasting. She spent her entire life praying and fasting in the temple. And when baby Jesus was brought into the temple, I mean, she never saw Christ dying on the cross. <laughs> but at the very inception of Christ, at the very time when she saw, when she laid her eyes on Jesus, she knew that this was the answer. This was the prayer, answer to the prayer that she'd been praying for, for the redemption of Jerusalem. This woman had assurance because of the time spent in prayer. She could see the answer of God from afar. Looking at baby Jesus, she knew that this is the answer. And I'm amazed because no one, she, she never saw it <laughs> physically, but she knew as she saw baby Jesus. So what am I saying to us? I'm saying when we are engaging in intercessory prayer, we will have assurance from God for the answers to the prayers we have been praying for. We will not leave with doubt or leave wondering whether God will do it or not or with our hearts unsettled for the rest of our lives. But even though the answer has not come as yet, we will see that indeed it has been done because we see what God has already done in this little baby. Um, baby Jesus, the assurance that Anna had when she laid her eyes on, on baby Jesus, we too will have assurance when we see the, the hints that God puts before us, that your, 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 your answer to prayer has been given. Thirdly, um, confidence, confidence and faith. Um, I would like us finally to read Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 verse 11 i read it it says and they have defeated him the enemy by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony amen and they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die and my focus is on the point of and by the 
by their testimony. So they defeated him, the enemy, by their testimony, in addition to the blood of the Lamb. So what am I saying to us in this one? I am saying, as we pray, as we engage in intercessory ministry, um, there are answers to the prayers that we receive. And these answers should be a build up of our faith within us. We should take these answers and they should be a faith um, grower in, within us. That when we see what God has done in the past, we begin to have more faith going forward. We begin to say, if he has done it before, he will do it now. If he did it in this one's life, he will do it in my life. He will do it in her life. He will do it in our school. He will do it in our company. He will do it in our nation. He will do it in my parents' lives. He will do it in my children's lives. So we begin to have confidence. We begin to have faith. We begin to see that the testimony of yesterday is, a, is an encourager for me going forward. Because intercession is a lifelong ministry. It is not something we do and we park and we are done. There are always and there will forever be situations and things that God wants us to stand in the gap for. But we ought not to forget what we have seen in the past, how God has won for us in the past. And when we do that, we reap the rewards of the past victories and we run ahead um, the, the, the journey, the, 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 the race that has been set before us. We thank you and I trust that you have received something that you are spurred on. We thank you. Amen.